Hello, my name is Shivam Kumar and today I will be presenting the result of my investigation of knowledge graphs constructed from fake and reliable news sources. This study was done under the supervision of Dr. Dapayan Roy. We are from ISER Kolkata. So first of all, let us get familiarized with what is fake news. Fake news refers to false or misleading information presented as a legitimate news content. It includes a wide variety of deceptive practices like made-up stories, manipulative images or videos and biased reporting aimed at manipulating public and influencing opinions. One of the prominent examples was 2016's US presidential election which got influenced by widespread of false information over the internet. Now the widespread use of Instant messaging platforms like WhatsApp and social media have increased this problem of rapid spreading of misinformation. So we try to explore if knowledge graphs can be used to identify fake and real news or not. Knowledge graphs are a specialized form of graph which represent knowledge as a structured and interconnected format. It can also store the semantic relationships and contextual information in it. We made the knowledge graph of real and fake data sets which are publicly available. Our hypothesis was that real news should be having strong connection with other entities whereas fake news because it is made of news it will show weaker connection. Strong in the sense that it will be having more number of connection with the entities in the graph and the longer connections whereas weak connection means that it will be having fewer connection with other entities and will be having shorter links. So first to make the uh, knowledge graph we used NER step. NER means named entity recognition which involves identifying and categorizing named entities within a text such as names of people, organization, location, dates and more. As illustrated in the example, Albert Einstein has been recognized as a person, ULM has been recognized as location, Germany has been recognized as location. The entities found by NER method may contain some entities which may be duplicates. For example, Napoleon and Napoleon Bonaparte, we know that both are names of same person but after doing NER, Napoleon and Napoleon Bonaparte will be treated as two different entities by the computer. So we do the normalization with Wikipedia. We search for entity in the Wikipedia and change the entity to the Wikipedia's page name. So from the above example, Napoleon and Napoleon Bonaparte will be changed to Napoleon. This NER step is fully automatic process and we have used rebel large model for this. So we faced some challenges while doing this NER. For normalizing with Wikipedia, we were using Wikipedia API and Wikipedia API is slow. Generally speaking, uh, Wikipedia API returns result in around 5 seconds but when doing this NER process in a longer text, we will be sending multiple requests to Wikipedia API which uh, gradually slows down and the return is around after 20 seconds. So we tried to fasten our code by parallelizing our code but uh, because of sending multiple requests to Wikipedia, uh, our TCP count blew up and because of the local uh, in local network restriction, our experiment was paused. So to resolve these issues, we downloaded the whole English Wikipedia archive on our machine, uh, which size is around 90 GBs after unzipping. So if we want to do a simple search on whole Wikipedia data, it will be taking too much time and memory and it is a resource intensive task. So we developed our own wiki search, uh, which can search for an entity in under one second with a very minimal memory usage. The schematics or wiki search uh, looks like this. We took the primary index which was given with the wiki dump. It has element and start byte information in it. We sorted the primary index and then took about 20,000 words in each group. The first word of each group is taken uh, which points to the group and the first element from each group is taken to form another list. The search is done on the final list of first elements which we obtain. Now we do the search on that. This is a kind of clustering and secondary indexing method used in databases. We do the search on the finalized list and if an entity has been found, we extract only that part of Wikipedia which is required. By doing this, we optimize the wiki search. The return of wiki search can be uh, customized as per the need. 
here we only needed the wiki page name so we are only returning the wiki page name but one can also return whole wikipedia page and its content if needed so the flow diagram of extracting relations from text data looks like this we have a text data we do the chunking and we send it to the ner unit and the ner gives entity relation entity this data structure is sent to entity normalization unit which has the wikipedia search and we have our normalized entity relation data structure we use layer data set which is a widely used data set containing around 12000 labeled data set with their truthfulness we separated fake and real data we did the ner on both data sets we created a word cloud to visualize the word and their frequency after removing non named entities like monday and first and we got the word clouds which looks like this we took the relation with common entities to construct the cages as we wanted to see the fake and real relations of the same topic. So the resultant graph looks like this and its degree distribution looks like this. So we can see that from the graph uh, that both real and fake news data show similar knowledge graph structure and the properties. So we came to the conclusion that we cannot differentiate between them with just the knowledge graphs. This is alarming as some process like search engine and recommendation system uses knowledge graph based approach and if a uh, if false and misleading information is in that uh, one cannot differentiate that and so the end user would be getting wrong information there can be some errors in our approach like some internal factors may be responsible for similar looking graphs the ner normalization step although not intended may be homogenizing the graph so alternate graph uh, construction methodologies or additional features may be incorporated for the construction of graph and further investigation on it is needed. Thank you.